Hey guys, Captain CA here for Flats Class YouTube. No, I am not going to teach you how to play horseshoes today. <laughs> but I am raking in the, uh, the horseshoe pits. And that's because probably about four or five days ago, I had 18 yards of clean fill dropped off by a dump truck here on the property. You're probably saying, why do you need that? Well, let me show you. You see that back there? You see my tractor and my little trailer behind it? We built a pistol stop. And when I say we, I had my friends Dave and the other Dave, <laughs> for lack of a better explanation. They both helped me out. I'm going to show you the entire build, how we did it. And it's a great little fun pistol stop uh, that is going to bring years and years of enjoyment. But go watch this. We'll be back. I'll tell you more. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by AquaTraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. that it's gonna be one hell of a pile for the gun range nice Dave and I will start working on this in 25 30 degree temperatures this weekend so the other day you saw we dumped 18 yards of earth off not going to need 18 yards, but it was cheaper to buy it by the dump truck load. And when you live on a big piece of property, well, you never know when you're going to need dirt. Anyhow, got my buddy, my best buds, Dave Lacey, today over, and we are building a pistol stop. So we're going to hopefully get this up in the next few hours or get most of it up. Uh, we got the first post up. Dave got the second hole dug. Hopefully by tomorrow we'll be shooting guns. We'll see. Post number two in, leveled, plumbed. And once we get the third one in. Dave's obviously the hardest worker on this team today. He's, a, he's our whole man is what we call him. But we're concreted in. We got two by tens by twelves, all womanized. And I know bullets could go through this, but we're only shooting pistol rounds and we're gonna have about 10 yards of fill that you saw the dump truck drop in front of it. So it should be good. I promise I'll help you lift that post in the hole, Dave. Thanks, <laughs> uh, We're getting it done now. The wall is almost there. It is almost there. 12 feet long. So we took uh, two by, by 10 by 12 feet long for the pistol stop. And then we've got some four by six posts uh, by 12 feet long that we put four feet in, in the ground. So right now we're probably about one, two, three more from being completely finished, put a header on this thing. And then it'll be nothing but more than sandbags and start you know start dumping earth here and we'll be ready to fire away we've been hoisting boards now for a while now we're putting in the final header piece which is a 12 foot long four by four all the way across 
and then we used quick creep for the footers need and they're more. four foot in the ground we need a little more we need horsepower need some horsepower you need another battery nope i think i got just a ratchet okay got to get that last little bit but so the intent here is to have a safety pistol stop here but we're going to right in here have sandbags and a couple of yards of earth and then the targets will be set out here and that way you're shooting into the earth and this is merely just to keep an errant bullet from going anywhere um, because we like to shoot on this property so the wide shot is pretty good you got something that's close to nine feet high here um, eight and a half at least if not nine and then it's 12 feet wide so this is going to be a nice nice addition to the to the property Dave, you excited about shooting today? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. After all this hard work. Woo! Gotta break it in. That's for sure. All right, guys. You guys get the honors first to start oh, drilling targets, man. I'll, I'll gladly go first. You'll gladly go first. Are we clear? Yeah, I'm getting my ears in. Do you think the head is okay to shoot at? I'd shoot, I'd, sh I'd shoot at the, uh, at his neck. Shoot at his neck and see if it gets in there. Well. Ooh, right in the Adam's apple. Right in the yellow, bud. Oh, the other side of the yellow. Just oh, underneath the yellow. Low. Just a little left. You got him again. Got him again. A little high. Perfect. Just a little high. Oh, tension. Pretty close. Just a little high. Just a little high. Dave was shooting at this one. Just barely high. Pretty good. That was the last grouping by Dave Lacey. 30 rounds. I'm really disappointed in that one right there. It's okay. <laughs> a little low. I had to have been through another hole. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's oh, that the way you end it. Shut the bullseye completely out. Yeah. Nice. So I'm going to walk back here. Uh, about halfway down the back of the property here and you can see how big this pile was and if you remember from the first clip that was 18 yards of clean fill 
and we probably knocked down, I'm gonna say, close to half, maybe not quite half, but pretty close to half of it now. Uh, and the only thing I've done is fill the horseshoe pits and fill the, um, the actual gun range itself. So let's walk back over there and look at the, the final product now that uh, I finished it up today. Walk back here, you can see where we filled in the horseshoe pits with some clean fill. That's all that stuff is dropped off the back of the yard is just clean fill. And here we have the finished product. Uh, since the guys left over the weekend, I added another layer. So it's a double layer of sandbags. So there's, there's a good chance there's over 120 sandbags between the two sides here. And uh, I added a little height, so I threw another foot and a half of fill up here. So now it's even higher than it was when we were shooting in the demo. Um, and let me give you an idea how tall this thing is. I can reach eight foot three. So I'm a little short, so it's probably eight and a half feet high on the short side. And it's probably getting close to nine feet on the tall side. It's built out of two by tens by 12 feet long. They're two inches thick. Uh, but with this much earth, honestly, there's probably seven and a half, eight yards of clean fill here. I mean, that really does. Uh, it doesn't allow a bullet to travel all the way through it to even get to the stop. Besides that, I have acres of property back here um, between me and the next road. And then I, this used to be my old backstop here. Uh, or at least half of it. We took a lot of the wood off and been burning it. <laughs> we had pallets here and everything else, and you can see it collapsed a lot too. I'm almost embarrassed to show that after showing how well built this one is. Um, and trust me, guys, I've got some money in this because it had to look good. I even went and got these gilly-looking drop drapes here um, to cover up the sandbags because my wife said she could see it from the main house and it looked awful. So I had to spend a little bit extra money there to make it look nice. Naturally, you can't have a pistol stop without the Florida Cracker upside down boot. But overall, I'm super happy how it all turned out. Really happy and really grateful for my buddies, Dave and Dave. <laughs> they helped me build one hell of a backstop that we'll really enjoy using for years to come. And just so you know, um, this would be the look from about, I'm going to say seven yards, which is 21 feet. That's what you'd be looking at shooting a pistol. I had the guys setting back here at 30 feet. This is where the table was set up. And this is, is what we like to practice at is 30 feet. Honestly, if you can't hit those targets or that pile of sand right there at 30 feet, well, we just move you right over here to the horseshoe pit. <laughs> Or we let you pick up the bows and arrows and go back here where the turkey decoys are. And if you look real hard, you'll see that shooter buck back there in the back um, that we like to shoot the archery stuff in. Anyhow, I'm gonna move down to the main house and we'll wrap this up. Hopefully you learned a little something here. It was a lot of fun to do it. I probably had, I never said how much money I spent, but I probably got somewhere between $1,200 tied up in all that between the clean fill, all the lumber, all the clips, all the sandbags, the, the ghillie drape cloths. I, I probably got close to $1,200, $1,300, bucks, and which a lot of you are going to say, damn, that's expensive. Um, but I built it to last. I, I didn't want something. It's directly behind my house, too. So I needed it to look, well, a little better than uh, kind of a raggedy range that might be on the back of the property somewhere. Anyhow, hopefully this is something a little bit different, something that uh, a lot of our fans will enjoy. And, and if you like what we do here at Flats Class, it's just, I always say this, it's not just about fishing tips. It's not just about tackle reviews. Lots of times it's about this kind of stuff, do-it-yourself projects, field trips uh, to some of our sponsors. Sometimes it's just me and another guide having a guide's day off. You never know what you're going to see here. So if you like what you see, subscribe and tell your fishing buddies and your shooting buddies <laughs> that we're here to not only entertain you, but to teach you something. 
make you better outdoorsmen. Until next time, Captain C.A. Richardson, signing off.